Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I want to do some thread repair how-to today. Unfortunately for me, I was uh, torquing down the case bolts here and this thread is stripped out. Now this happens with the T5s. Every now and then I'll get one and this will happen. It's very frustrating. It really sucks because you have your top cover that's already on with sealant and then you put your tail housing on with sealant. Torque all the bolts down and it's usually this thread on the T5 specifically. Just how they design the case, there's less threads on this uh, hole versus this one. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of threads there compared to that guy. So I'm going to show you how to repair some threads, put a helicoil in. I'm actually out of this size. I believe it's M10 by 1.5. So I got to run to the store and get some helicoils and I'll be back with you, show you how to repair a thread. Now, what also really sucks about this is, you know, you had everything all nice and clean and you put everything together and then it strips out. So you got to take everything back off. You got to clean all the surfaces. But the, the bad part is you risk getting more dirt and debris inside the case as you're cleaning these surfaces again. Because when these surfaces are cleaned, the whole case is uh, empty. There's nothing in it. So it's easy to be wiped out. So just stuff some towels in there. That's what I like to do. Um, even around the, the thread that I'm going to repair, I'm going to put some tape just to catch all the shavings that, that fall out. Same on this side. That's just going to bounce off here and fall out of the floor. You don't want that to get into your nice clean gears under there. So always protect the area that you're going to be working in. So these are pretty nice, nice little kits. It comes with a tap and it comes with a uh, a tool that you, you put the helicoil on here. Just thread it on. And you'll see on the bottom it has a little lip that it catches. This piece catches that lip. So when you go to, after we drill and tap, we're going to screw this into the case. And uh, it's a nice little tool here. I always keep them together, don't want to mix them up. It's very hard to, to gauge the size of these helicoils if you separate them from the packaging. There's, It's really hard to measure because these things can expand and you, there's no way to truly, as far as I'm concerned, there's no way to actually know the size of this. So keep them with the packaging. So the tap, it tells you uh, what helicoil it's for. So it says uh, M10 by 1.5 is what we got. And the drill bit we're gonna use is a 13 30 seconds bit. It's always good to inspect it, see why it failed. If you can find out why, just make sure there's no cracks in the case. I've already inspected it. Um, it was probably just over torqued and this thing was rebuilt once before and it was misused and it just stripped out. I'm gonna try to set you guys up at the best angle here. But I got my drill all set up and we're gonna go for it. It's really important that you drill this out as straight as possible. Nothing to it but to do it. That worked out pretty nice, nice and straight. All 
All right, now that it's nice and clean, we're gonna take our tap tool here, load it up. Now it's also very important that you get this straight. So take your time, start slow. Let me back this up a little. When I started, I, I do very small turns and I keep backing up the check, make sure it's going in straight. And you'll get to a point where it bites enough that you can just keep going and drive it all the way through. So I think we're there. A little bit of oil can help, but this is a fresh tap, brand new. So. There we go, all the way through. Back it out all the way. There we are. Kind of hard to tell on camera. But we got the nice threads, the nice size for the M1015 helicoil to bite down on. Look at all those shavings there. So now we're going to insert our helicoil. Like I showed you before, we're going to take our tool and thread on the helicoil and go all the way to the end. And there's that little tab right there that it stops on. Now, once you start inserting this helicoil, you cannot take it back out. You can only go in. So again, very important, you start slow and you slowly screw it in. Because if you get halfway and it's crooked or whatever, it's not coming out. You're gonna have to drill it out again, and start over. Make sure you're in straight. This is probably the hardest part You know, I almost feel like this isn't the right size. And sure enough, China strikes again, guys. I, I, I can't make this stuff up. This happens. Like, th this is my life story right here. Uh, look at this. We, we got two M10 by 1.5. It's the one I, the brand new one that came out of the package. It says right there, M10 by 1.5. Now, if we look at these, the threads are a little different. Because, look, I'll take it on the new one. And this thing, look how loose that is. Now, this is the old one I have sitting around. And let me thread this on. Look how t much tighter that is. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it feels way tighter. Um, so, I don't know how I can help you with this, but, you know, it's just, this is the name of the game, guys. Uh, we got two parts that are the same thread, but one fits like shit, and the other one fits pretty well. Because I was noticing when I was going to thread in the helicoil that it was, like, super loose. So let's try this one and see if it goes any smoother.
Andrew, look at that. Amazing. Well, I can show you guys how to do this all day, but I can't tell you how the quality of parts are going to vary depending on what time of year you buy the part. And it's just the way it is. So the way this thread is set up, I talked about this before. We have more material on this end for that thread. So this coil is for that length of thread. We're too long by that much, this edge here. So we gotta get this flush with the back side, which we're pretty much there. And then we're gonna cut the rest of the coil off with the cutoff wheel. So depending on the depth of your hole is gonna dictate how much of the coil you're gonna have to cut off. Now I gotta be careful that I don't go too far. I wanna get as much of the coil in there without going past the edge. Maybe went a little too far. But there's a little, that little indent here. Let me get a pocket screwdriver, point it out to you. Normally when you're done with these coils, you stick a punch in here and this, this lip pops off. Because this lip is only here to grab the tool so you can thread it in. But they cut this a little bit right here as a relief and get a new coil so you can see. See that, that little cut mark? So that's to help that come off. All right, now we're gonna take a punch and we're going to tap out that end piece. There it is. And you can see we did go a little too far with the coil. I'll have to cut that with a cutoff wheel. Not so easy when uh, the threads are too short, you know? Kind of makes it a little harder. You know, cut a little bit more there. Have this transmission on. Uh, and that was yesterday. So I figured out tomorrow I'll uh, finish it up. You know, only got to seal up the back half. And then this happened and it kind of ruined my whole day here. So hopefully we got a successful repair and let's put the tail housing on and we'll check to see if it torques up. Got it to 40 foot pounds. Let's see if we had a successful repair here. If not, my day's about to get worse. All right. Always good to double check, guys, because there's you don't want to put everything back together and the bolt not torque up. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something. Successful repair. Hopefully this will help you out with any of your future builds. Like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.